We do a wide range of research and includes advanced materials development as well as device design, and device fabrication and testing. And these devices are used to send, receive and manipulate electromagnetic signals. Now some of the applications that you can envision with, these, with this technology is something like a radar. And this radar could be defense radar or it could be commercial. Uh, you can also think of technologies that involve cell phones because cell phones and radar are not too different from each other. They both send and receive and manipulate electromagnetic signals. A lot of the devices we're making are for next generation electronics or next generation radar electronics. They tend to be smaller and better and sometimes cheaper, but certainly smaller and more integratable with other systems. So the technology is essentially getting smaller and, and better and cheaper. The center of microwave magnetic materials and integrated circuits, it's unique in that it combines different disciplines. Uh, for example, we use a lot of physics with material science. And obviously, because I'm an electrical engineer, we end up making devices and systems. But it's unusual, and I think it's, it's one of the only types of centers in the country that combine these different disciplines. And as a result, the students are exposed to a wide range of, of studies and experiences, ranging from material science and physics to electrical engineering. The students have a very diverse background when they come out of our, out of our laboratory in our center, and this appeals to industry. There's really no other students in the U.S. who are coming out with an expertise in material science as well as in electrical engineering. So they tend to find jobs very easily and they, they tend to be enormously successful. It's a unique challenge to take our experience here and try to expose some of the students, the nearby students in Boston, the underrepresented minorities in the science and technologies, and invite them into our laboratories, but not just for trivial show and tell, but to give them a real research experience. And I'm very proud, probably most proud, of the fact that we've had 28 publications, and these are scientific articles with high school uh, and undergraduate authors. It was a pleasure coming back to Northeastern, having been a student here. I'm actually one of the rare examples of, of a triple husky, because I have my bachelor's, master's, and PhD from Northeastern University. And I met my wife here, and she has degrees from Northeastern. And so there's a very special connection we have. It has grown tremendously to not only be a very attractive and a beautiful campus, but also one of the top research institutions in the country. Thank you.